around the state a little bit. Thanks so much for joining us. Thank you for having me, Sloan. Great right, to so be back. Let's dive right into some of these questions. You are now the Republican Conference Chair, a high leadership position in a time when both houses and the Democrats and Republicans are very divided. What, what are you focused on right now um, among this division? Yeah, it is. It's a, it is a, there's a lot of uh, political vitriol. Um, and, and frankly, it's been very concerning because we've seen the Democrats move so far to the left. Um, what I see is the number three Republican in the House is uh, Speaker Pelosi not being able to have the kind of control that she thought she would over the far left in her party. And we see the Democrats really, if, if you look at what they've done in the 100 days or so they've been in the majority, they've embraced socialism. I mean, you just really, it's hard to believe that we have to have that battle again. Uh, but they've done that. They are enabling anti-Semitism. They will not put a resolution on the floor condemning Ilan Omar by name. Um, they won't let us put a resolution on the floor that would protect babies who are born alive after an abortion attempt. So it's a very radical Democratic Party, and, and it's it's dangerous for the nation, um, and I think it makes it uh, very clear we've absolutely got to get the majority back in 2020. So that brings us to the elephant in the room, the Mueller report, and calls from some Democrats for the impeachment of the President of the United States. What is your response as a leader in the Republican Party to the Mueller report itself and this push by some Democrats to impeach the president. Well, you know, you have Democrats who have been talking about trying to impeach uh, Donald Trump ever since the moment he was elected. And I think it's a, clearly a very political agenda. They had put a lot of hope in the Mueller report. You saw the kinds of things that they said about what a terrific investigator and great American Bob Mueller is. And now all of a sudden, because the report didn't come to the conclusion they wanted it to, um, they're, you know, trying to do go down a different path. We're going to see these investigations continue. Um, and frankly, I think the American people are just tired of it. The Mueller report, two years, um, you know, hundreds of different leads and investigations they looked at and came up with, uh, you know, the conclusion that there's no collusion. So I think the Democrats really, I, I would urge them to, to stop uh, going down that path and come back to the table to help us get things done for the American people. Now, one person uh, in the House that you've sparred with quite a bit is Representative Alexandria Ocasio-Cortez. She's been the fuel behind something that a lot of Republicans have pushed against, which is the Green New Deal. Um, again, as a leader in the Republican Party, how do you respond to this push by the Democratic Party, um, not just by the House members, but also some candidates for office for the president in 2020? Um, how do you respond to this legislation? Yeah, I mean, look, I think you saw what the Green New Deal really is when Senator McConnell put it on the floor of the House, uh, or I mean, of the Senate, um, and he called their bluff on it. It, the Green New Deal is a fantasy, the idea that they're going to outlaw airplanes in 10 years. They've really, they're very focused on, you know, cow flatulence. I think it's, it's ludicrous. Um, and I think what it is actually is, is their effort to take over our entire economy, have the government take over the entire economy by providing jobs even for people who are, quote, not willing to work. Um, providing education free of charge for everybody. I, they really are socialists, that's what they call themselves. I'm, the Green New Deal is not going to become fact, but I do think you're going to continue to see them try to put in place very radical legislation. They'd like to outlaw all fossil fuels. So, of course, uh, Wyoming, the entire delegation, is working very hard to fight against that and make sure people have the education they need to know the reality there. And very quickly before we go to break, uh, 2020 is coming up. It seems as though, as you said, the party is moving in opposite directions. Um, is there any room for compromise in the future? Yeah, I think there are a number of issues on which we could have compromise. I think, you know, one issue that it seems people from both parties recognize is crucially important is uh, prescription drug prices, looking for ways we can work together to help bring those prices down. Um, but I think at the end of the day, it's going to come down to Nancy Pelosi. And again, this is why elections are so important. As the Speaker of the House, she gets to decide what legislation is put on the floor. And if she doesn't want to give Donald Trump a victory for political reasons, then she will continue to hold the American people hostage. All right, Representative Liz Cheney, thank you so much Thanks, for joining Sloan. us. Thanks, Sloan. Great to be with you. We'll be right back after the break.